previously on Car Trouble. Instead of catching a flight with the rest of our mates to go on holiday, my old mate Sid and I bought a car for £100 and decided to drive it across Europe to get there instead. This is what happened. Welcome back to Car Trouble. You're joining me at the very start of a nearly 2,000 mile journey across Europe in a car that cost £100. I'm on the way to pick up my mate Sid. Oh, don't tell me he's not at this station either. Where are you? In the pub. You got a few drinks on board then? Oh yeah. Did you have a swear box? <laughs> The M25, huge tailback. Are we going to stop at a pub and uh, get me a drink? Buy some water? Yeah, thanks. Belgium! Driver airbag. You ain't got an airbag because you're expendable. You're not even worth a bag of air. Keep your eyes on the road. Sometimes. Don't make me big. test out your no airbag for you. Maybe the sat nav got us all the way here and messed up the last 10 yards. Made it to the hotel. They gave us a double room instead of a twin. Oh no. <laughs> Day two, time to see if the car starts. Yes! So welcome back to day two, second leg of our trip. After a crap night's sleep in a lovely hotel, sleeping next to the snoring chainsaw. Hello. I've been less tired, but I can't really remember when. But uh, yeah, we're heading 300 miles south now into Germany to a town called Ansbach which is where a place where the snoring chainsaw used to live 47 years ago when he was about 50. <laughs> I think it was all still black and white then, they were still driving tanks around there. But we're going to go back and have a look so we can reminisce and, and see how it's changed. Like they've got buildings made of bricks now and things like that. <laughs> Excited, aren't you, Sid? I am. I used to work for the town council there, so I'll go. go back and see if we can get me job back. <laughs> Stop that. Doof, doof, yeah. Willkommen to Germany. We hope you have a nice time. Do you, uh, do you want to learn some German? Yeah. yeah. German, Germany. Yeah. German phrases. Yeah. Come in handy. Da liegt der Hund begraben. Da liegt der Hund begraben. That's where the dog's buried. <laughs> Alles hat ein, alles hat ein Ende, nur die Wurst hat zwei. Everything has an end, only the sausage has two. Yeah, that's worse now, isn't it? <laughs> Sie spielt die beliebige beliebig Liebewurst. Something in, to do with sausages. <laughs> she's playing the insulted sausage. Ich bin besoffen. We're going to be all right in Germany, you know that. We, yeah, I'm you, so, you stick with me. Now I know that you can speak this sort of language so fluently. Look at the state of that over there, that power station. It's just horrid, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, all that that's coming out the top is only steep. But it still look just looks <laughs> It does look horrible, doesn't it? Here's a good one that's going to be useful for me this trip. Yeah. Du get mir tierisch auf den kicks. Eight, something. You are getting on my nerves massively. I was thinking elf was eight, but yeah, it's ox is eight, isn't it? Acht. I can tell you in Germany, there ain't no rugby pitches, is there? Not on the motorway, no. <laughs> I mean on the side over here. Why would they have it next to the motorway? Doesn't mean there isn't any. Stupid. Here you go. Here's a, here's a phrase for you. Kummerspeck. Kummerspeck. Literal translation is grief bacon. Grief. Grief bacon. And the meaning is excess weight put on by emotional overeating. Have you been emotional recently? I have been a bit emotional. <laughs> I got accused of being a snorry <laughs> old bastard. <laughs> <bastard. laughs> <Bores> fart. <laughs> How have they done it so right in Germany? You've got these lovely long, pristine autobahns and you can go as fast as you like and there's, there's hardly any traffic. How have we managed to mess it up so badly in the UK? Where you just, too many people, are there? The roads are rubbish, road tax is expensive, there's loads of traffic jams and even if there isn't, there's a speed limit. We need Angela Merkel in charge, that's what we need. Is she still the gaffer over it? You must drive really fast so we have no traffics. These yeah. cars, you're not coming up fast behind us. Stop swearing. Schnell, schnell, I must drive my Audi as fast as it would possibly go. I'm, I'm amazed on the fuel uh, situation right now. 481 miles, and we're still on the first tank of fuel. Yep. That was about 60 quid to fill up. I think that's amazing. 
I'll be interested to see when we pull out. I'll do, I'll do a miles per gallon calculation because even though this thing's a really old piece of snot, I think it's amazing on fuel. You won't be able to work that out. So I'll show you. I can do it. I can do it as well. If you can do it, I can do it. I'm educated. I'm educated. Well, tell us about Anne's back then, Sidders. I'm saying Come on. <laughs> Come on, you know you want. Now, last time I spoke about Anne's back, I've just got nothing but abuse. So I'm Go not saying on. Anything, no. Tell us. We've all, forgot, we've all forgotten about it. What was the name of the best pub that you went to then? The Zum Stall. 47 years later, you can remember that? I remember that. You couldn't remember where you put the car key this morning? No. Yeah, Sid lost the key this morning, and the broom. Okay. He, lost, he lost the key, his charger, the only key to the car, and then he lost the room, he couldn't find the room anywhere. <laughs> it's only because I wanted to talk to the bird on reception. 500 miles, 500 miles on one tank of fuel and it's not empty yet. Petrol station. I can't believe they charge you 70 cents for a wee. No, no, it's ridiculous. 70 cents for a wee is robbery. 140 for the two of us. It was just... Germany sorted out theft. There's a whole there's a whole countryside you can wee in without paying. 42.65 litres. Big balls. 53 to the gallon. But more worryingly though, if this I know there's some in the filler pipe, but if this just took 9.3 gallons and it's a 9.9 .9 gallon tank. Maybe the gauge isn't accurate after all. Yeah. The gauge is out, isn't it? Be gentle with the old girl, you know what it's like to be old and abused. Yeah, Kim Sergi, you know, but I am trying to keep it between 60 and 70, man. And ride that clutch, ride it like a pony. That means silly. <laughs> ride that clutch, cowboy. Just the novelty of having a clutch, isn't it, for a change? Another half an hour, I'm still thinking about finding somewhere. We made a sensible choice early on not to get busted because of the car. But you're driving, oh, I'm not on about you drinking, I'm on about me. Oh, is that why you're selfish? <laughs> <laughs> I kept wondering, why is he pushing to go to drive first? Be a team player, but don't be a selfish. <laughs> Let's get to Amp back and have a beer together. Mate, your hands back, you're home. I know. Zent, what did, it, what did I say it was? Stat. Statmitter. Statmitter. Where are we going then? Follow your sat-nav. Right to the uh, left. Turn right onto Johann Sebastian Bachplatz. Johann Sebastian Bachplatz. That rolls off the tongue nicely, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I didn't think it was this big. It probably wasn't when you were here, it was a different uh, century, wasn't it? Yeah, so I don't remember it being this big at all. Recognise any of this? No, I So I'm glad we're bringing you back for a trip down memory lane and you don't remember anything because you've got no memory left. I could have taken you anywhere. Oh, yeah. I said, do you remember living here, yeah, Sid? Yeah, no, right. I don't remember any of it. This is like the Belgian motorway, this cobbled street, isn't it? Yeah, except it's better. Well, they've got shops here now instead of just old medieval market stalls like we're doing. <laughs> But look, I can see pubs down there, little pubs and f***ing proper places. Trouble with you, we passed some pubs already. But, oh look, there's a restaurant with people in it. Stadt. And That's where we are. The Schwarze Bock. After 300 miles, we arrived in Ansbach and Sid immediately made himself a new little German friend. I asked him in German to look over our 100 pound car. Apparently I must have mixed up the words and asked him to write all over it instead. Still made his little friend happy. Is that tree here? That tree here. Is that river here? Yes. Is that church here? Yes. Was that shopping centre here? Which one? That one. 
any of them? No. Is that sign here? <laughs> Don't recognise any of it yet. Not really. There's not a pub open in this town anywhere. Oh, yeah. Well, they used to. Where, where are you supposed to get a beer from? They don't even sell beer here. This, this, this must be the centre then. Yeah, yeah. You don't recognise it then? Eh? Not particularly, but I do recognise that there. Church. And this. But, you know, I don't re remember the streets particularly as they were. But like I explained. There's no cattle running down, is there? <laughs> So, yeah. Well, H&M probably wasn't there, was it? It's a bit quieter than I thought it was going to be. It is a bit quiet, <laughs> and uh, the creep has just got us. She's got 50 cents out of me. That's that more than most of your dates, isn't it? I oh, know. <laughs> Down the street before I am. Uh, I, bet well, you I, don't, I bet you don't recognise it. No, I don't. It turns out there's not much to do in Ansbach except eat and drink, if you can find somewhere, that is. Miserable Will wouldn't let me have a drink. This is my first one. After a few hours walking around, we finally found a bar where Sid could talk at some locals. Probably the smallest bar I've ever been in. Friendly crowd though. Next we found a place to get some German food. I think I accidentally ordered something that I think used to hang between a bull's legs. It's a nice place, but I'm absolutely amazed how, how quiet it is. It's eight o'clock. Yep, come not, a not a single person. Oh, he's a tramp over there. I don't think he is. He might be a tramp. That's a statue. It's just absolutely dead everywhere, isn't it? Unbelievable. Come to Ansbach if you want some peace and quiet. It's 8 p.m. in Ansbach. <sighs> There's not a single person around, look at this. Not, not, nope. not one person. Oh, hold on. 8 p.m. Right, there's you. There's a tramp around the corner. It's not, it's not a tramp. We're going into a pub now where there's only two people in there. That's packed. Don't be cheap, Why have you got my food? Sid decided he was going to talk at another local. He even tried his hand at the language. In return, the guy insisted on taking me outside to show me his ass. So it's an official sign of this car. You, you don't have a stamp like this? No. So everyone, everyone can get the sign. You, what, 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 what does this mean? This means is only this person get, get the sign. So if I wanted uh, my name, I pay. Uh, the plate, uh, plate is, the, is the word. And you yeah. buy, buy this plate in a shop? Anybody else I go there and say, Ah, oh, I want DLC. Yes. You get this plate from, from government. Yes. Well, that was a peculiar night. Join us in the next instalment for day three, where we travel south to Salzburg in Austria. We get pulled over by the German police, visit a brow house, and stumble across a traditional Austrian, or oh, right, it was an Irish bar. <laughs>